Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening project. I contemplated filming this because I am winter sowing more seeds today and I have done several winter sowing method seeds um, in the last week. <laughs> we double checked all of the ones that we planted last um, November and showed you what what survived the freezes and the frosts from then. Um, I winter sowed a bunch of milkweed, which should be really fabulous for the monarch butterflies. And now I'm going to go ahead and start a bunch of my summer seeds. So, If you are unfamiliar with the concept of winter sowing, it is when you start your seeds outside in containers like milk jugs or anything really that is a container with a top and a bottom. Clear is ideal so that you can actually see your seeds growing and the plants and if there's water or if you need to water them. But you're going to start this eight weeks before your last frost that way your seeds can germinate, they can grow, and then by the time your last frost comes around, you'll have nice baby plants that you can plant out in your landscape. So today, we are going to start a bunch of spring to summer plants that we can put out in the landscape as soon as it is warm enough. So I'm going to be doing some coneflowers, some zinnias, both some short and tall zinnias, um, I'm going to be doing some watermelon. These are sugar baby watermelon, which are smaller, um, perfect personal size kind of watermelon for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to eat a gigantic watermelon. I've grown these the last two years uh, vertically, but with my new raised beds, I'm hoping to grow them in a raised bed this year. And gumfrina. I'm also going to be doing some gumfrina. So I will put all of the seed packets that I have up on the screen. Some of these seeds are from Johnny's Seeds, some of them are from Amazon, and some are collected from my own garden. So obviously you can collect seed yourself from your own plants, and that is the cheapest, most effective way to propagate your plants by seed, but your germination rate of seeds that you take yourself from your own plants won't be as high as something from say Johnny's Seeds that have been proven to germinate and grow properly. So, you know, take with that a grain of salt. But we're going to start by opening up this container. So typically in my area, we can start winter sowing seeds pretty early in the winter. I started a bunch in November. Um, and we just don't freeze. And so they grow twice as long, they get twice as big but we actually did freeze this year. So almost everything that I started in that original winter sewing video, um, unless it was very cold hardy, like the lupins and a few of the fox gloves, um, you can check out that update video for the full update. But things like my watermelon, they didn't survive. So that makes sense. Watermelon are not cold hardy at all. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead, top this baby up, and since plants never grew in this soil, I'm just going to replant in this soil. Make sure when you are prepping your containers, you want to slice all the way around, leaving a hinge um, with your milk jugs. The hinge is ideally right where that handle is so that the handle can stay intact. You want to make sure you have drain holes on the bottom and you can take the top off. So whew, we're going to do watermelon in here. And if you have your seeds, it'll have all your instructions on the back. So for example, these say, start your seeds um, four weeks before transplanting outdoors or in a container. We can do these outdoors of the full eight weeks in advance because they are in a container. They are not um, just in seed trays on the ground or something or on a shelf. And the benefit of doing this is that by growing them in these little containers, they are hardened off to the outside a lot faster. You get a lot more control when you start them inside. So it's just 
it's completely up to you. Do you want, do you want the control? Do you want the hands off approach? I like hands off. All right, so, so a few seeds. Um, half an inch deep says it takes six to eight days to germinate, 78 days to harvest. You want to transplant them when the plants are three inches tall. So there you go. I like to do my seeds, one in the middle and one in the four corners gives us the best uh, chance at keeping the roots separate. Sometimes when the roots are really, really uh, intertwined, once they've grown, it is easier just to take the whole container and plant it out in the garden than to try to separate all the baby roots. Now we just close her up. I will water this in with my mister and we will keep track of it. I accidentally just taped over my label, so I'm gonna rewrite it up here. Sugar, baby, watermelon. By the time you've planted 8 million seeds like I have, you have no idea which is which, even if you think you'll remember. Um, so invest in a garden marker. They're only a few dollars and a Sharpie will come off. So step one, going to go ahead and continue this process um, with the rest of the things I have to plant for the day. And I hope this helped. If you want to go check out the other videos, the ones that I planted in November and the update for those plants, um, I have already planted out several of the lupins and the poppies from that video, which is awesome. And uh, the milkweed video, I will leave all those links below, but the rest of this is just going to be more of the same, except with dirt. All right, so here's my army of seeds. You can see I have the milkweed seeds. These are 
the swamp milkweed that is native to my area. We have a row of purple comb flowers, a row of apple snapdragons, a row of lupins, a row of the tall zinnias, and then two rows of foxglove. Over here we have cherry snapdragons. We have uh, eight short zinnias. We have five raspberry gumbrina and two big jugs of pink gumbrina. So we will see the lupins here are the ones from uh, before, from November, the last bit of the ones I need to plant out. These were all too little to plant out last time. So I think I'm going to plant those out and then put something new in those containers. Everything else has been planted in the last two weeks, save the snapdragons, which let me see if I can't find it right here. You see all those little, little baby snapdragons coming up? So we will see, I will keep you updated on my spring and summer sewing, winter sewing of the jugs. I know there are lots of different ways to start seeds. So if you've done this successfully, leave me some tips down below. And if you do it a different way, let me know. But I'm really excited um, with all the success I've had from the November batch to see how this batch goes because the November batch was kind of hit or miss. Depends on your time zone on your weather and we had bad weather for it so should be out of the trouble zone and I'm excited to see how many of these grow <laughs> I will see y'all in the next video bye